Hey, I'm Paul with Rack Attack, and this is the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 Hitch Mount Bicycle Carrier. And at only 32 pounds, it's one of the lightest platform hitch racks on the market. Now, in this video, we'll cover the construction and materials of this rack, as well as how to install it onto a vehicle, how to load and unload bikes, cover some of the security features that are included, and some of the other unique features that make this rack unique. Okay, first step is we'll go ahead and install the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 onto this vehicle that's equipped with a two inch receiver hitch. And first we'll point out that there is a anti-wobble feature that uses this ball bearing, which will press against the corner of the receiver hitch. We'll demonstrate that now. So first step is we have this rack in its stowed position where it's 90 degrees, which makes it easier to manipulate the stinger into the receiver hitch. Next, I have the hitch pin, which I'll use as a feeler. So I'll push that hitch pin through the hole of the hitch as I bring the rack inward. And then that way the hitch pin finds the hole in the rack. Now I'll go ahead and take the lock and the lock has a spring loaded locking mechanism. So I can just simply cover up the key insertion point and then without using the keys I can actually just press that lock into place. Now before we tighten up the rack you can see there's a fair amount of wobble here so I can go ahead and pull back on the rack a little bit that puts a little bit of friction on that hitch pin and then I can go ahead and begin tightening on this rubberized turn knob here and what that'll do is push that ball bearing against the corner of the receiver hitch, providing a very effective anti-wobble both vertically and horizontally. Now that we have the rack firmly attached to the receiver hitch, let's take this magnet and determine which of the components of this carrier are made of aluminum or steel. So for starters, the stinger, that is aluminum along with the side plates of the connection to the main platform, also aluminum. The trays are aluminum. Now, the arms, those are steel, as is there's a top plate here that's steel, and that's the connection for the threading that holds all of the tray components together. Also, you have fittings here. Those are aluminum. So overall, a very strategic use of materials given the stresses applied to those materials to, to give this a very strong, durable lifespan, yet be very lightweight. Okay, now let's go ahead and bring the rack from the stowed position into the carrying position. And to do that, we'll just pull back on this lever and bring the platform down. We also have an alternative method as well. We can actually one-handed just use our foot and then pull the platform down and that will automatically snap into that carrying position. Now, the arm, at the end of the arm, is a release knob that we press that and that allows us to extend that knob. Then we can bring the arm up and over. Here we have the front wheel cradle that is in the low profile position. We'll, we can bring up that back support to the vertical position. And then here we have the rear wheel ratchet. We press on the release lever and then bring that ratchet over. Now this is a pivoting rear wheel cradle, so that'll automatically adjust to a wide range of different wheelbase lengths. Now we do the same thing for the opposite side. And now we can begin to load bikes. Here we have a mountain bike. I'll go ahead and bend down, grab the lowest part of the frame and fork, and then lift, get the front wheel into the front wheel cradle, rear wheel into the rear wheel cradle, bring the arm up and over the front wheel, and then ratchet that down as close as possible to the first point of contact and give it a good compression. And then back on this back wheel, just take this rear wheel strap. The strap itself has the rubber where it makes contact with the rim and just give a good snug connection for that. So this bike, as a mountain bike, it has a 29 inch diameter wheel size. So the arm is supporting that. It can also go down as far as 20 inch wheels 
using a 20 inch wheel adapter, which is attached to one of your support arms and that allows for even smaller bicycle carrying capacity. Now we have a second bike and this is a road bike. Same thing, we just get the front wheel into the front wheel cradle, bring the arm up and over. And you can see here we have a small indention into that front wheel hook that will provide a better grip onto that smaller, narrower tire. And then same thing, the cradle has already pre-adjusted for that wheelbase. This rack can accommodate wheelbases all the way up to 47 inches and bicycle weights all the way up to 40 pounds each. Okay, now with both bicycles loaded, we can demonstrate access to the back of the vehicle. I'll reach through the first bike to pull on the release lever and guide the platform down. Now I can go ahead and open up the rear hatch and check our clearance. Here we did make contact with this grip on these very wide mountain bike handlebars. Now it is possible to put the road bike in place of the mountain bike to provide much more clearance than we have in this case. Now to bring it back, it automatically clicks into that carrying position. Now included with the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 is this six foot long by three eighths inch thick cable. Now this is a non-coil cable, which makes it a bit easier to get through the frames and other intricate components of bicycles. Also, it has a lockdown point and a hoop to create a lasso around the bikes, extending the full length usefulness of this cable. So let's go ahead and demonstrate. I'll go ahead and run this cable through the inside bike, create that lasso. Now it gives me ample extra length to reach down to the lockdown point, which just requires a snap down. And so we have an easily accessible point to lock down and also to remove using the same key that was used to lock the hitch lock to the hitch of the vehicle. And this is part of Kuat's one key system. So these keys are numbered and it is possible to remove and replace the lock cylinder with one from a match set. Now removing the bikes is the same just in reverse. So I'll release the rear wheel ratchet, press on the lever for the front wheel holder, and then the first bike can be removed. Now to stow the rack, I'll just bring that arm down, close the ratchet in the back, and bring that wheel backstop down flat for a very low profile. Same thing for the mountain bike. We'll just remove the rear strap, front hook, and then the mountain bike comes off quickly and easily. Arm comes over, ratchet is stowed, and now when we want to bring it back to the stowed position, we can just grab that lever. And then we have, even for vehicles with very tight clearances, we still have ample extra space between the very low profile rack platform and the back of the vehicle. Okay, well those are all the key features of the Kuat Sherpa 2.0. This product and the full line of Kuat products are available at RackAttack.com. Please see the link in our video description for all your buying options. And if you have any questions or comments about this rack in particular, feel free to leave those in the comments section below and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We have over 2000 rack related videos and we upload new videos weekly. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching.